This is a very exciting day for me. You guys have no idea. I was really looking forward to recording this review here of the brand new variation of Holly Shiftwell. I mean, I haven't done a Cars 2 video in quite some time, and especially when we get to dive into the spies and the espionage aspect of the film. I know a lot of people don't really like that aspect or element of it, but... I mean, come on, we can't deny it. it was a fun movie, and it's awesome to take a look at the die cast from it. And I have to say for Holly Shiftwell here, I don't think any character has underwent the drastic color changes that she has over the last 10 years, nine years, actually. I mean, look at that. You went from purple to like a fuchsia or a magenta, and now to an absolute reddish pink. So I'm very excited to compare this new version to all of the previous versions. You know, as you can see, there's a winged version, there's a couple of screen variations. So a very exciting video today, and I hope you guys are looking forward to it. Of course, this new variation of Holly came out of 2020 singles case H, which I unboxed a couple days ago. I'll leave that link in the description below, along with the card suggestion pop up in the top right hand corner. So we're gonna dive right in here. You can see her artwork there, which is the same artwork that they've been using since 2011. And you can see she looks pretty purple. She doesn't look this reddish pink that they are now using for her. I mean, she doesn't look quite as dark as the original Chinese version here, but I'd say she definitely looks, I don't know, it's an in-between color that we're going to try and discover when we open her up. But anyway, she's in the London Chase series. So you can see a nice little silhouette there of Big Ben or Big Bentley and some clouds and the London Tower Bridge, which is really cool because those had some unique scenes during the movie. So you can see here on the back, a nice little picture of Holly Lightning McQueen, Mater Finn McMissile and Professor Z getting surrounded by the families of the lemons. So you have like Truncos, Hugos, Pacers, and Gremlins. The lemons' evil plans end in a thrilling chase through the busy streets of London. Los planes malvados de lemons se terminan en una emocionante persecución por las ahetredadas, ahetredadas, calles de la ciudad de Londres. I have never seen that word before. Ahetredadas. Taken Spanish for six plus years. And I've never seen that word before. But anyways, you can see a Palace Danger Fimic Missile here, which is the version included in a 2013 two-pack with Doug Speed Check. But pretty much, you know, apart from that, he's always been released with this expression. So it'll be interesting to see which one they actually end up releasing, which he'll likely be in case J for 2020. There you have Holly. In her purple form, though, the eyes look so weird. I don't know if you guys have noticed, but on the back, you know, with like racing wheels, McQueen, the eyes just look a little strange. Not for these two, though. You have Fighting Face Mater there, who was released in case B and reissued in C. And then Race Team Sarge, which was in case G and then also in H. So I'll be right back with Holly all opened up. So here is Holly out of the package and she looks incredible like this shade of pinkish red stands out in a collection like there really are no other cars with this shade and it's really shiny and you know, coming from Thailand. So if you just take a look at that like separate from the fact that it probably isn't accurate to the movie it's a really cool paint job and I'm starting to really like it in the fact that I'm considering it a like video game paint job like a you know paint job that you would be able to unlock in a video game and add on to the character like they've done many times before just because it's not movie accurate we're just going to get that right out from the start here but it's a really cool color nonetheless so i'll put a few pictures of holly there from cars 2 on the screen even though most of us probably know where she appeared and all that i mean she's one of the main protagonists of the film being the british spy along with finn mcmissile and of course, Mater as well, who she, you know, becomes pretty close with by the end of the movie. 
So taking a look at those pictures there, you can see that she really isn't this shade of pink. Is she more close to this version, which is the last release of Holly we got with this Electroshock Taser device back in 2016? Or is it the original shade, which is this darker purple here, or kind of a more faded one? So you can see the picture there. What do you guys think? I feel like this is definitely the best color here, but I still think it's a little too vibrant. I feel like if you toned it down a little bit, you'd be really close to movie accuracy. This one's just too dark, and this one is just too red. Like, she's literally pink in this. She looks like Candace from one of the video games. It just really reminds me of a video game type of character. So yeah, very interesting. I don't know what Thailand was thinking when they came out with this pink shade. Like I said, I absolutely love it. It's stunning, but it is certainly not movie accurate in any way, shape, or form. It's not even close. So I have no clue what they were doing, but it's Mattel. You never know what you're going to expect with Mattel. But yeah, I'd say something you know in this region right here, if you tone down the color a little bit, would be more movie accurate. So just focusing here on the new version of Holly, she has the same expression that she's pretty much always had on just the normal version that is. And you can see Tylen tampered there with the eyelids a little bit and you can see how it's a little fuzzy, but it doesn't look too bad. Green eyes, which is accurate. Black outline around the windshield. She's got her headlights up here, which are engraved. Side view mirrors are plastic pop-ups got the lights there on the side and you got her own logo there for holly shiftwell the h with the s within it which is a really cool logo i wish i had my own like logo for my initials now her rims are slightly different they're a little bit brighter i'd say a little shinier versus kind of the faded gray you see on the chinese version here they just look a little shinier which is cool also you can see the axle much clearer there versus here it's more of a black hole of oblivion. The windows are now opaque, which means you can't see through them at all. Whereas here they are technically transparent, even though it's hard to see through them, but there's blackness inside. So that's why you can't really see anything, but yeah, that's a major difference there. You got the door handle there in silver. It's kind of cool sideboard here on the back you can see that she's always had this bumper plate here so you can see the crack separating the main metal body from the plastic bumper here she's literally had that in every single one of her releases even you know this version here with the taser where they made her a unibody for example and changed the expression and all that i don't know why they do this but it's something just with Holly. It's like Wilmer Flats. Wilmer Flats has always had a mouth plate. Holly Shiftwell has always had a bumper plate. Can't explain it though. Now there's the little trunk emblem, which is pretty clear. It's brighter. I wouldn't say it's clearer. It's probably a little less clear, if I'm being honest, than the Chinese version, but it doesn't look too bad. Same thing there with the H and the S logo and then 10L. I don't know what the 10L means personally, I kind of forgot. And there you have her license plate, which is actually really well done. You can see HS for Holly Shipwell, and then 1201. Pretty sure that's December 1st. And that would mean that Emily Mortimer, who voiced Holly Shipwell in Cars 2, her birthday is December 1st. I think that's what it is. I could be wrong though. I mean, it's been so long since we've talked about Cars 2 here on the channel. I mean, I know I did Miguel Camino and Josh Coolant, but those are just a little bit different. I mean, it's very unusual. We talk about the spies, the main spies, you know, Finn McMissile, Holly, and, you know, Rod Redline, Leland Turbo, and the Gremlins and Pacers, too. I mean, it's very rare just because they don't get released too often. But it's nice to see, you know, some of these back in the mix and that we'll be seeing Finn soon. So now this is what I was really, really curious about here is the date stamp. And you guys might be like, why Disney Doctor would you care about the date stamp? Well, first, obviously N stands for 2020. So it was made this year. A is for the factory. As always, it's always in the A factory. 
and 12 is for the week of the year. So that means this was made in the 12th week of 2020. When is that? That is in the thick of the coronavirus outbreak in Thailand and Asia in general. I mean, it's a little past it actually, which tells me that Mattel is having no delays whatsoever, which is phenomenal. I mean, I personally thought this case would be delayed. I thought case G would be delayed, but in fact, everything's right on schedule. I mean, look, this was made in the 12th week. This is literally like the last week of March and it was made in the thick of it. I think that's phenomenal. I mean, that really tells me that all is well over there in the factories. I hope they're practicing social distancing and they're implementing safe regulations and guidelines in the factories there to make sure everything stays well. But based on this, everything is well. So I think we should take that as reassurance that the cars line is still going strong amidst everything. Pro sports might be canceled. The Disney cars line, heck no. Anyways, these things here are her little computer buttons that she can fling out, which we saw in the movie. And we actually got one of the buttons released here in a 2013 release of Holly Shithlow with Screen, which is this version here, where she has her normal expression and is holding a screen there with Miles Hood. And then, of course, you have the 2014 release of Hollywood Scream, where she has this really cool worried expression, probably my favorite expression of Holly, and the screen is now showing Grandma and Acer with the camera. So that is why those things are on the base there. So bringing together all the variations of Holly Shiftwell here, of course, we have the two versions with the screen, which are that dark purple. Same thing with the Chinese version here. So this is the Chinese version. That's a unibody, so this was released you know, relatively more recently than this version, which was the initial 2011 release where she has the mouth plate. Of course, 2011 and 12 and before that, pretty much 09 to 2012, Mattel produced a lot of cars with mouth plates like this where the plastic front piece is different and separated from the metal body. And you know, Holly got it on both ends with the bumper plate and the mouth plate. So one of them has gone corrected as you can see with this version, but the bumper plate has remained. So those are the purple versions in addition to Holly with wings, which is a terrible version in my opinion, because she should have a wing popping up in the back. And her expression is slightly different here. And this one was released way back in 2012 as a deluxe. I know, right? A deluxe. 2011, my bad. Which is just an absolute ripoff. But she has not been released since. I'm surprised, though. I'm surprised they didn't correct her and re-release her. Like they did with Submarine Fimic Missile. And then 2016, we got this also really cool version of Holly with the taser from Paris. Like her expression here, too. Very, very aggressive. The only problem with this one is that the bumper plate was a completely different shade than the main body, but I'd say actually this bumper plate is the exact accurate color of her in the movie. You can see it's a little more vibrant than the Chinese version here, the dark purple one, but it's a little darker than this hot purple that the Taser version has. So this is the best color in my opinion. You can see how that compares to our new Thailand cherry red version. So those are all the variations of Holly Shiftwell that have ever been released by Mattel. And now we got this new version here, which is just a wild card. I mean, I can't believe they did it so differently, but it's really cool to see nonetheless. I'm happy to see more cars too. Influences in the line. So let me know, what is your favorite version of Holly Shiftwell? I mean, I have all these here. And what color do you think she should be? I mean, do you think I'm right in saying that this bumper plate color is pretty accurate? Or do you think... Something else. Maybe you even think this red version is accurate. I don't know if that's possible, but let me know your thoughts down below. And thank you guys, as always, for watching. I really appreciate the recent support. It's been just so much fun doing YouTube videos because it's just been fun. I mean, quarantine, I get to do exactly what I love, making YouTube videos and enjoying my passion. And I have no other worries. School is over now. And I could just do a whole bunch of fun stuff like this. 
So let me know your thoughts on everything, guys. I will see you on Thursday for a new video. As always, videos Tuesday, Thursday, Saturday, and Sunday at around 5 p.m. Eastern. See you guys then. Bye now.